Rach, what's up? You know, we've been riding with you. We've been staying down with you. You know, got a lot of love for you. But this ain't looking too good. You know what I mean? This ain't looking too good. I've been said fuck ESPN a long time ago. That's why I don't work for them. That's why you know you already know how it went down with me. You know what I'm saying? But ain't no need to for us to not speak on it when everything else is being spoken on. You know, so we need to figure out what was the context and what you were saying. Because you know we ride with Maria. We're going to ride with our people first. That's just how it go. You know, but I always showed you love and I always showed you respect regardless of where I was or what I was doing. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I've been said fuck ESPN. We all know how that shit went down with me. You dig what I'm saying? But we need some clarity on that because this is only looking one way. And you know we team Maria, just like we was team you. Need answers. Because guess what that was there for? Maria to do the hosting for Yeah. So, I have declined. I don't know what their next move is, but they are feeling pressure because of all of that. And um, I'm trying to figure out, like, how to just, you know, my thing is, like, I, you know, I wish Maria Taylor all the success in the world. She covers football, she covers basketball. If you need to give her more things to do because you're feeling pressure about your this crappy long time record on diversity, which by the way, I myself like know personally from the female side of it, like go for it. Just, you know, find it somewhere else. Like you're not going to find it with me. They said to me, things when we frustrated and and you know Rachel did deserve that job it's just it's just plain and simple I talked to Rachel and I and I, and I know a lot of things she was saying out of frustration because ESPN put her in a bad position and they even put Maria in a position of trying to give Maria a sympathy job they was trying to make themselves look good because of all the black black lives matter and the black George and the George Floyd stuff was going on so ESPN tried to make themselves look good by taking the job from Rachel that she had already had that they'd already told her she had, that she deserved, and give it to Maria just to make themselves look good. It wasn't a genuine job they wanted to give Maria. It's ESPN is behind all this, bro. It's all they fault. You know what I'm saying? I can't blame Rachel. I love Rachel, and I'm going to stand behind to her. I spoke to her, and I'm going to stand behind Maria, too. But ESPN, y'all some suckers. Y'all some suckers because y'all did this. Y'all tried to give Maria a job, and it wasn't genuine. And look what happened. Come on, man. It's all ESPN fault. Get we love both. When the jump, When the jump first started... Rachel hired all black people. Remember that. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Had to come tap in real quick, man. Steven Jackson, y'all heard right there. They called out ESPN, said, fuck them. And it's really coming from, you know, they past history and everything they had going on. But now the most important shit, the new up-to-date shit is Rachel Nichols. She said something in a conversation that got leaked and put out from last year, 2020, when the uh, the playoffs and the championship was going on. Her job was given to Mariah, as y'all can see. And 
just being all the way honest, a lot of people ain't gonna like what I've got what I gotta say. I feel how why Rachel Nichols was upset, bro, and I do uh feel what Steven Jackson is saying hundred percent. Now the other guy, Adam, he made some comments and I think that it's kinda getting taken out of context of where he was getting at. Basically, they know that ESPN and a lot of these corporations are forcing the Black Lives Matter and everything like that down the throats of them to put out there to the people and in the world. But when you hear somebody have that conversation who ain't black and everything like that, they going to, you know, it's going to be some, you niggas going to feel the way about it because they're going to feel like you don't have the right to speak on that. Now, however he meant that, Adam, I can't really tell for sure how he feel, but when he came back at the end, he was like, you can't just put a black woman or a black man in a position in the boardroom and think that fixes the problem. I think he, what he was saying, uh, acknowledging that there is a problem with diversity and discrimination in these jobs and these corporations just be like, hey, let's cut a check, let's put somebody in position, or let's give somebody somebody else's job just to make it look like we actually care and like we doing something. So I could be wrong on the Adam part, but what Rachel Nichols was saying, like, hey, man, she done put in all this work for this job. She done earned it. She done grinded for it. ESPN fucked over the situation. The information wasn't supposed to come out. They were still actually recording her talking, man. So with her being recorded talking, we not hearing what was said behind the scenes and it put a light on it. Like, hey, bro, this how ESPN really moving and shit. Oh, uh, and this ain't even just no knock on ESPN, bro. This shit is at everybody. Like, all these big-time corporations, bro, when they cut these checks to niggas or they hire certain niggas for positions, that's just so they can actually say, well, we got somebody black working there. It's not genuine. You know what I'm saying? Then on the other side of it, people are going to say, well, oh, well, that's how y'all feel then. Don't take the job. Or, oh, y'all going to always complain. But, nah, bro, it, it just is what it is. We didn't write the history of this country, dog. These motherfuckers did. The ancestors did. So it's going to always be in a conversation about this shit. It is what it is. I agree with what Steven Jackson said, man, though, with Rachel Nichols. Hey, people can say what they want to say about her. She really didn't speak out about it. It just her conversation got recorded from didn't know the camera was still on and then the audio got put out. But, hey, ESPN, under some fire right now. It'll get swept under the rug like it always do. Things of they'll put out a statement. People will get over, especially in the social media day and age, when it's always new, reoccurring news. But this is just showing y'all. We can play dumb like we don't know. When all that George Floyd shit was going on in the pandemic and corona and everything like that. Rest in peace, George Floyd, though. Most most definitely. Uh condolences to the family and everything. But when everything was going on, they all was just cutting checks. So y'all just telling me all of a sudden 2020 the time when y'all feel like y'all need to cut checks when this type of shit been going on? Nah, y'all know that big corporations, man, if we don't get active on this, it's not going to really look good for us. So if we don't put our hand in it, it's not going to look good for us. But do they really care? Probably not. It's all about a dollar, man. That's just the way it works. So tell me what y'all think about this shit. Subscribe to the channel, Urban Politics TV. Got more shit coming, man. 1,000. Stay on your pivot for shit show.